Hey everyone, so this is going to be a quick video. Um, I had made a couple videos um, planning to mute the audio, but it didn't work. So, yeah. So yeah, that's why it's nighttime because I was trying to edit them and I couldn't do it. So I'm using some Wet n Wild today, of course. It's, um, I just kind of go through phases of what I like to use. Um, and since I got all these palettes and I got uh, most of them like buy one get one free or buy one 50% off, like really you can't beat that. You know, they were anywhere from $2.99 at the most to free. So I'm using my shadow magnet today or tonight because I'm not going anywhere. And I like the way it's like a base and a primer in one for me. And this one which is cool as a cucumber. Okay, so I really don't know how I'm going to do this yet. Let's see. Eh, let's just do it. Okay. So now that I got my new brush belt. I'm going to show it to you guys. It's like this. Okay. It doesn't have a top flat. Not this one. And then it just rolls up. And then it ties. So yeah, this one right here um, carries all of my smaller handled brushes. And then uh, my Nana even made a shorter pocket like this one. This one goes all the way down here, but this one stops. She sewed it right under there, so it holds my baby kabuki. Yes, these are all hand sewn by my Nana. For those of you that are friends with me on Facebook, y'all know this already. I'm listening in the country, sorry. I'm getting that y'all and howdy. No, just kidding. Okay, so this is the bigger brush belt, and this one has the flap. And then we also need it, so it covers all the brushes, and then folds, and then rolls. It'll roll up. So yeah, no, I'm not selling these. Um, I I'm gonna learn to do the sewing techniques and stuff myself. Um, but these are the ones that my nana had made me, so these have sentimental value. But, um, but yeah, when I learn how to do the techniques, I'll make them myself and maybe I'll sell a few for extra cash. But that's not a new venture, that takes very time consuming. Um, my the fabric and everything cost probably like it probably cost a total of three dollars to make them all or to make, yeah, both of them. Um, probably like three bucks. So, people that sell them for 15 or 20 dollars. Um, I've seen some on Etsy that I thought were really cute, really cute fabric, and definitely worth the $15 to $20 that you're going to pay because it's time consuming, you know? Um, it's not just about product cost, it's the time that they take to make this, so um, I would definitely pay $15 for these um, if I didn't have a nana or someone to sell for me. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go in with the dark green. This is my first time using this one. This, wow, this looks like humid from MAC. I'm going to be with the fluffy brush. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to use the purple color. I think this is how it, yeah. This is how they tell you to wear it. Um, next, we're going to go in with this terracotta color from the greed palette and this is going to be at this is going to act as my transition color what did I do okay So 
So now for my highlight color, I'm going to go in with that matte, like ivory color. Okay, now for this inner part, I'm going to use um, the brow bone, what they call the brow bone color, which is a limey green color. Can you see that? Now, one of the other palettes have like this green color to it, but this is more satin, I want to say. It's not frost. It's really pretty. Okay, so I decided not to do the other eye because <laughs> I'm going to do a different makeup look. But um, this is the final look. I ended up using a green. If I could find it. Oh, well, I put it away. But, excuse me. My nose. Um, I'm not going to edit that out. <laughs> um, I ended up using a green eyeliner. Um, and it's from Avon actually and um, I really like it it glides on really well I hope you can see it in the waterline um, green and purple really make my eyes pop out but in this lighting it doesn't really matter but if it was during the day my eyes would look way like honey brown because that's the color they are um, on my lift on my lift on my lips I'm wearing the Revlon color stay um, lipstick in smooth nude and um, over top I have uh, Milani uh, Fashion Diva, which is like that purpley one. So yeah, it's a simple look. It's a, this this technique that I do with the eyeshadow is pretty much what I do for everything. Um, right now, that's my this is my go-to eye makeup routine as far as placement of my eyeshadow. But I also find that with my clients as well, it works um, pretty much on any eye shape. Um, placing the colors as so, and they can be as neutral or as bright or dramatic. Um, I feel like once you find placement of eyeshadow, it makes it easier for you to blend well and um, for your overall look to be better instead of just going at it and making a hot mess. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Um, I know I haven't been doing any crazy dramatic looks lately, um, but I've been really into just more wearable, soft looks. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys don't mind it. Um, but yeah, on my cheeks I only have the bronzer portion of the e.l.f. I know, um, which is this one, I know that you guys wanted me to, uh, uh, I've, got a, a few requests now to show where I put it and everything so that'll be in a, another video I hope you guys like this don't forget to comment like and subscribe um, and give a thumbs up for the made brush spelts by my Nana and uh, yeah so can't wait to read your comments and answer any questions talk to you guys soon bye